Thank you so much for uh, your invitation. I'm Chorong Kim, and I worked at Kassan Dimak from 2012 to 13 as a first female type designer. <laughs> I double checked with Anatin yesterday. And I'm working at Sandal uh, now in Seoul. Sandal is one of the big foundries, and we also run the uh, found cloud service, which called Sandal Cloud. Next year is the 40th anniversary of Sandal and 10th anniversary of Sandal Cloud. Actually, during the panel discussion on the first day, uh, Nara Kano and Perrin talked about uh, the new font streaming service for Thai. And I was so glad to hear that because uh, today's talk could help them a bit, I hope. Well, 10 years is not a really long time, but it's hard to remember because uh, the life speed is so fast these days. So let's go back 10 years on a time machine. What happened in 2014? There is a lot of dark and depressing disaster going on in this year. Sadly, the Israel-Palestinian conflict is uh, recently occurred again, but it happened very significantly in July uh, 2014. And the Ebola virus spread it in West Africa, causing numerous victims. In Korea, the sinking of a ferry sewer, one of the biggest social influences in Korean society in the 21st century killed nearly uh, 300 high school students, and later it uh, influenced the president's impeachment. While China surpassed the US in terms of the uh, uh, purchasing power, the iPhone 6 was released, and Rosetta's rubber fillet landed on a comet for the first time in mankind. Unlike this atmosphere, Bear Williams, Happy, and Mark Lonson and Brumars uh, Uptown Funk were great hit in the pop music field. Interstellar was released in the same year. And in the K-pop scene, GOT7, which Bam Bam and Jackson belongs to, debuted. In this chaotic uh, global situation, what was the fund market like in Korea? The size of the fund market was small, in many aspects, it was small level even to say industry. At the time, the total size of Korean fund market was estimated to, to be about uh, 20 billion won conservatively. The main method of installing fund file was a CD. These are the real CD packages of Sandal sold. There are a group of fund CD packages such as a text fund uh, or display fund one. Uh, the offline CD sales were big pillar of sales profit for the foundry. Unfortunately, it was too expensive for an independent designer or a small size of design studio. Uh, the average salary for the new employees of um, small and medium sized business at the time was 1.8 million won, excluding tax per month. And you had to pay more than 70% of, uh, of your monthly salary to buy one phone city package. Therefore, it was very rare for individuals to buy and was sold to a small number of customers like uh, print shops, publishers, or large corporations. As a result, there was a lot of illegal use by uh, individuals and students like the expensive software at the time, the piracy of the font was also very active. Some university design department even handed over the CDs of illegal font to juniors like a treasure. Because there was a lack of uh, awareness of copyright, the internet was thought to be a place where uh, free content could be easily accessed. In addition, many companies made their brand font and they provided it as a free font for a promotion. Many Korean foundries took this kind of project rather than making their own font library. It was another pillar of the uh, font company's main revenue. 
This is a free phone website of 2014, which was uh, run by one of the biggest search engine sites in Korea. This means many people use these fonts instead of the paid one. Also, there are not many paid users, but there were also many inconveniences for the, those who bought fonts. Typically, uh, font licenses are very complicated. For example, according to the license, some font can be used for books, but not for videos, or it's possible to use for the CI, but not for advertisement. So confusing. Therefore, users uh, complained it a lot. How about the foundry and font designers? So sadly, there were many senior designers told young designers who wanted to start as a font designer. This is hard and hungry job. Except for a few companies, most of them are hard to expect a regular revenue. So due to this situation, companies were able to make profits by selling fonts at high prices. And users did not purchase the regularly paid fonts because they were, too, uh, they were too expensive and there were many alternatives. Therefore, many foundries cracked down on the illegal use of fonts and they imposed the strong sanctions. And users' image of the foundry became worse and worse. As a result, people don't buy the font. It was a perfect vicious circle. In the midst of this uh, total crisis, Sander wanted to solve these problems. But it, uh, this wasn't something that uh, could be achieved if we just worked hard. Several conditions had to be satisfied. First of all, uh, the infrastructure. According to Stat Statista in 2014, Korea's average internet access speed and its high-speed internet penetration rate also ranked first in the world. Uh, these were great condition to offer online business, and the cloud service was one of them. And the general consumption method of people. Fortunately, uh, subscription music consumption began to take a root in the music field already in 2014. This means that people's perception of music has changed. In the past, illegal music file sharing and du duplication were prevalent in music, like fonts. The last one is the situation in a similar market. Uh, the timing was good with the, uh, the announcement of a Microsoft subscription service in early 2013 Korean domestic users also began to experience the software subscription service. In addition, as people become more aware of copyright protection, uh, the use of legal paid programs has begun to increase. Sandal sensed all these changes in advance from the end of 2012 and began uh, preparing fund cloud service. And finally, the Sandal Cloud service was launched like an April Fool's joke on April 1st, 2014. It was the uh, first proper cloud type phone service in Korea. And it started with uh, 365 uh, font at 9901 per month. It's about 7.5 US dollar. We suggested a completely new way to use the font uh, with a relatively accessible price. So what's the reaction of the market? Did users welcome it? No. Well, <laughs> very cynical and negative, right? It wasn't that surprising, actually, because there was a lot of worry, even internally. They saw people pay for the phone when pigs fly. Actually, 
Our founder, Paul, said that it was determined that the company might fail. It was very likely to fail. So we needed another solution. Uh, above all, it was important to make sure that people could experience what is called a font cloud service. Because people don't, didn't know what is a font cloud service, how does it work exactly? We actively distributed free coupons, and people uh, can experience using the service. Uh, through partnership with re related companies, we have made many users experience Sandal Cloud. Okay, fortunately, the reaction of the market started to change slowly. People's suspicions began to change into favor, like this. Not only the users, but other companies are all, uh, slowly starting to react to this approach. In December 2015, about a year and eight months after the release of Sandal Cloud, one of the big Korean foundry, Rixfont, also launched the cloud service. And another big company, Yundesign, also renewed their service to offer all of their fonts as a cloud method. Perhaps thanks to this effort, uh, users' positive voices were heard more and more. Especially for uh, heavy users, the Sandal Cloud has become kind of an essential program. Therefore, we came to think of a higher goal. Uh, it was to construct a healthy ecosystem that connect font users and font designers. The right direction was platform. Accordingly, starting uh, in 2018, Sandal Cloud was redefined uh, to take shape as a platform in earnest. Sandal Cloud should no longer be just for Sandal Fonts. For this challenge, first of all, we updated the application. Uh, the left one, which is the very first version, uh, was designed only for Sandal Fonts. There was no option other than Sandal. Just you, we can see the the subscription period and activation checkbox for fonts. Very simple. And right one uh, was the updated version. The UI changed it to cover several foundries in on the uh, on the left menu. In a style cat category and favorites were added. After that, we updated the app regularly. Also, we had to expose uh, many foundries and fo uh, foundries and fonts as much as possible, so we renewed the site as well. At the brand level, these three characters uh, were also created based on the symbol uh, to give a more friendly voice, like Type Boy. They explain many foundries on our Instagram channel. In terms of the user policy, Sundal started an integrated license for users' in, uh, users' convenience. It integrated all licenses except uh, the font file embedding, and made it simple to understand and use. And users were really satisfied because they no longer had to check each licenses uh, depending on where they were using the font. Thanks to this effort, the number of foundries has increased uh, by almost eight times in six years. It was six in uh, 2018, and now we have uh, 50 foundries. We actively introduce new foundries to our users. Not only domestic ones, but also overseas foundries. Well, it's not that numerous um, considering the other upload foundry platform, but for us, it was a relatively good result. Of course, the sales growth also increased a lot. These are the foundries uh, that joined the Sandal Cloud for now. Actually, there are more. 
Uh, most of them are Korean foundries, and however, you can recognize some logos that are familiar to you, uh, such as Kassan Dimak and Morisawa, and also Arfik. So, does this service solve all the problems of the market? Everybody is happy? Well, it's hard to say yes. However, the impact of Sunvolt Cloud on, on the market over the past 10 years is quite phenomenal and positive. Users can use large amounts of fonts at a low cost without worrying about legal issues. And it has become easier for uh, most of the font designers to make a living by creating fonts without worrying about font file piracy. The market is changing in a healthy direction uh, where profit from, uh, from selling fonts are greater than profit from illegal crackdowns. And the quantity of new paid fonts has also increased significantly. Naturally, the design industry has moved away from limited free fonts and has enriched design work with a variety of paid fonts. Some of you may know uh, this K-pop content on YouTube. I bought a few examples, and they all you uh, they uh, all of them use the fonts from Sandal Cloud. Probably you may think that this is a kind of exaggeration, but I think. Sandal Cloud also contributed the richness of K-pop content. So, the future of Sandal Cloud, it has grown so well so far, uh, but to be honest, it is difficult to say that the future is very rosy. This is because of the nature of the platform that can be serviced online, and it has entered an era of infinite competition where the nationality and boundaries of market are becoming ambiguous. However, Sandal will continue to challenge by reading quickly the trend in, uh, by risk-taking to change the market in, in a healthier direction, as it has done so far. In particular, it is a great advantage that generations who have experienced this change in the market and grown together, are currently working as employees of Sando. So it is expected uh, that they will change the Sando cloud in a positive direction in the future as well. I took these pictures on the first day and second day of BIT, uh, and I was so impressed uh, by the fact that many friends here we're ser seriously thinking about type and typography. Uh, the, the situation and problems facing, uh, facing the font market in each country will be different from each other. However, both those who make and use fonts will have the same desire to build the font industry happily and healthily. Uh, so today's talk may not be a direct help to everyone, but I hope that it will give hope to, hope to everyone. And Sandal is always waiting and open to various partners who can happily join this challenge. That's all I prepared. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to talk to me or send a, a, message, send a message via email here. Thank you for listening.